Bob Bankin, NASA Chief Astronaut. Bob, the uh, ticket to ride for Chris Cassidy and his crewmates behind you as the Soyuz reaches the pad on this clear morning. Uh, your thoughts uh, on the upcoming launch and the complexity of this increment that lies ahead for Chris and his crew. Well, Rob, uh, thanks. It's uh, like you mentioned, the ticket to ride has uh, come for Chris Cassidy and the rest of his crew, and uh, they're up for an exciting mission. We've got the uh, Flight Day 1 rendezvous, the first time uh, Americans have participated in that rendezvous profile to the International Space Station with a crewed flight. Uh, we're really excited, and I think all three crew members on this Soyuz are up to the task, and again, really excited about having the opportunity to get to Space Station just so quickly. Much has been made about the single day launch to docking, the six hour rendezvous to the station. How are you doing? What is different for the crew on board the Soyuz? What are they going to be involved in in this compressed period of time? Uh, Rod, that's a good question. There are a couple things, and it starts actually before the crew launches. Uh, they've uh, been involved in a sleep shift, so they're actually sleeping during daylight hours here in Kazakhstan, which is a new uh, phenomenon for them to participate in. And then once they get on board and are headed toward the space station, they'll actually have uh, much of the very same tasks that they had on their uh, two-day rendezvous to the space station, just compressed. And so they'll have to do uh, many of their tasks uh, much more quickly than they had to before, but we're expecting that to all go smoothly. They will have an opportunity to take their suits off and uh, get a little bit of a break before accomplishing the docking procedures. But uh, we're expecting uh, very similar activities to what we normally see during a docking profile, just compressed. And Chris Cassidy in particular, you've had a chance to talk to him. What is his state of readiness for about six months on orbit that will see the entire gamut, visiting vehicles, spacewalks, the whole nine yards? Right. For Chris Cassidy, as a uh, active duty Navy uh, SEAL, uh, he's always ready for anything. And I can certainly say, having seen him uh, uh, just earlier today, uh, he's ready and raring to go to step into all of his responsibilities, both for uh, this increment and the following increment, where he's expected to conduct a couple of spacewalks uh, to bring some uh, um, repairs and other uh, improvements to the space station. So Chris is ready and raring to go, as any Navy SEAL would be. Soyuz is good for about uh, four days of free flight. And uh, in the past, we used two of those days on the way to the space station. So in the event of, a, of an unplanned departure, you know, only have about two days of uh, on-orbit capability left. By launching, going straight to the docking in just six hours, we'll preserve most of that on-orbit uh, uh, time that on orbit capability, so uh, it's it's kind of like having a, you know a runway behind, uh, you know runway ahead of you yet. It's it's still available to use if you need it. Um, it'll be busy for the crew that day. Launch day will be about a 24-hour day for them from the time they wake up, go through the full final preparation, suit up process, strap in, launch, and then the six hours to the rendezvous docking. And once they get to the station, they're not quite done yet. They need a quick safety brief. There'll be a welcome, a uh, little bit of a welcome ceremony, and they have to prepare the uh, the Soyuz to be on orbit uh, in a storage mode for the next uh, for the months ahead. That'll be a long day, but it'll be worth it. Mike, Chris Cassidy, EVAs, visiting vehicles, the whole gamut of operations lies ahead for him. What are your thoughts and, and his thoughts? You talk to him about uh, what lies ahead. Oh, you, you bet. And it's uh, it's an exciting time for him because uh, Chris, has, of course, has experience as a space shuttle crew member on a short, about a two-week mission, uh, which is very compressed. And if you practice every single thing you're going to do, is very tightly choreographed. In this case, you can't choreograph half a year worth of living and working up there. And so we teach the basic fundamental skills. And, and so a lot of it you're kind of learning as you go. You're learning from the senior guys that are up there. Uh, Chris Hadfield, Tom Marshburn, and Roman Romanenko have been up there for some months now. So uh, Chris and his crew, uh, Chris Cassidy and his crew will be joining them. And uh, it's a very busy time.